Hello, this is David Anderson. I'm here with David Lawler, and he has something to tell all of you, and I all th and I think it's very important. So uh, let's uh, take it away, Mr. Lawler. I want to start by saying I uh, absolutely detest podcasters who go off on rants, especially with regard to their listeners. I find it immature. I'm a stiff upper lip kind of guy, be the better man type. That said, I'm going to go off on a rant, but not about the listeners. Uh, most of the time when podcasters are bitching, they're bitching about their listeners, which is like, what? I mean, these are the people who kind of make you what you are. But uh, this is directed at certain Facebook group administrators. Not all, not all. I'm talking about the powerless little children in the world. I have very good relationships with a, with a lot of administrators. I even speak to them on my various other podcasts, and we get along splendidly. Uh, some of them go out of their way to send me messages complimenting me on my work and, and all the little things I do. But these are the... Recently, it's been really, really, really bad. It's been really bad. Anyway, kids, uh, let's be real for a second. Let's cut the crap, shall we? You're in the business of niche, a small market, a hobby a rarity, an antique. Somebody comes along myself. Somebody comes along and produces quality entertainment. The podcast I do with my colleague over there, David B. Anderson. Hello. Special uh, special 10-part, roughly 10-part series about the rise and fall of home media, home video, Betamax, Laserdisc, you name it. We talked about VHD for crying out loud. This is good stuff. We both agree on that. I it's agree. also free entertainment. So I post these videos at several Facebook groups and we got great, comparatively great for us, great numbers. And then I start getting deleted and blocked by administrators with no explanation until very recently. One of these administrators shows up on another site trying to smear me, it seems, you know. You don't show up on another group page and start attacking me right there unless it's for slanderous reasons. And we get into it. Okay, so this was the first uh, uh, message I got uh, from this person here whose name I will not say because this is all, as you're seeing it, Right now, it's black, blacked out. I, I don't want to embarrass these people. So to I really, I, I, I've been, David can attest to this. I've, I've been, like, up against a lot of really irrational, unreasonable people of late, and I have maintained my cool. But here is when I really lost my shit. I said, you, would you take a moment and listen to what you're saying? You say you deleted them seconds after I posted. To be more blunt, what the fuck is the matter with you? Why would you do that? Uh, never interacted with anyone there was this bullshit. And also, one of my friends is a, a, a very nice gentleman by the name of Denny Spangler who appeared on my podcast three times to talk about either the monkeys or any kind of shit. He also appeared, actually, he appeared on Blissville twice. He appeared on uh, that Twilighty show about that zone uh, twice. And he appeared on another Blissville episode about the monkeys or something like that. It was when Bronwyn started her column, which is also very popular. And also, the uh, the people on Zilch are very nice as well. I'm friends with many administrators there. 95% um, non-Laserdisc-related non con content. Do you have anything to say about that, David? Well, we do a little bit of Laserdisc stuff, but usually it'll be you'll, you will kind of, it'll sort of be at the end, really, a lot uh, of, of episodes. I, I basically have been talking about Laserdiscs because I like Laserdiscs, but, uh, like, I, I kind of half see their point and I'll tell you why. And I know this is your rant, but I, I want to, I want to just say that like, I support you and, and you, and you wanting to post these things. I think these are very informative shows, but everybody has their own specific rules that are so vague. They aren't fully explained about what is okay to post and what is not okay to post. And I think that there should be a rules posted of like, is it okay to post this stuff? Cause I think that what he thought we were posting, cause he would take them off before he would listen. Um, right. I think that with, he with no it, information as an administrator, he probably has to deal with all kinds of people posting all kinds of things on. And then he, it basically becomes his job to delete crap. And it just kind of, it's kind of like when you have like your spam filter on your email and it will sometimes put important things in your spam filter. And I think he's just like doing is like, well, nope, 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 nope. And it's 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 him trying to do his job, which I'm sure he doesn't get paid for this. And so he just has to make a tough decision about what he thinks is right and what he doesn't think is right. And, you know, you're like collateral damage to him. And then and then you go on and you give an impassioned plea as to why you're right. But he deals with idiots all day. And to him. You're just another guy bitching about how why he can't he post his spam 
or whatever, even though it's not spam. I kind of like half understand, but I think that he was overreacting to your post. He should have kind of uh, actually Bronwyn just put it out in plain English and said they don't like you. They yeah, just don't like I you. They don't like your fucking is. attitude. Which is a wife thing to say. That's a what, wife thing to a husband. What, what he should have done is when you when you're first kind of like, you know, hey, what's going on in your comments, he could have he could have personal messaged you and explained like, uh, you know, I, yeah, I do, he could I have, do this he because of this. I do this because of this and this is why. But and he then, didn't. But he didn't. And then, you know, he, 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 he was messing, you know, he messed with the wrong Mexican, you know, he, <laughs> you know, you, you're, si, you're, si, a, you know, you're, you're a fiery man and uh, this is not the thing to do to you. Cause it's just, well, make- no, no, because I am going to go into just how much work we do putting this, yeah. this stuff together, the stuff that we put together. I'm going to disagree with you a little bit, David, because, uh, we do talk about laser discs and we do mm-hmm. co- talk about the thing is the, if the conversation steers toward laser discs, we go into it and we go into it wholeheartedly and when you remove the content and you delete it that means it's it's just removing more content that's not going to be on the site that's not going to provoke any kind of discussion or or something about that because most of the content that appears mm-hmm. uh as i bring up the third picture i sent it to you already. oh well, right here i was looking at, i was looking at that and we're gonna so he says he he says on this group i see you posted twice with photos of this and two and seven to David's walking to bar. I see zero posts for hardware, which is absolutely untrue. The very first post I put up when I joined the group was a picture of my laserdisc player and my uh, a, a swatch, a collection of laserdiscs that I happened to dig up. So he's not looking at everything. He's only he's behaving on a completely arbitrary level. All you have to do is send me a message. That says Dave, I think your content's inappropriate. Stop posting or something like that okay as this was happening another discussion thread lit up okay and this gonna... is from an, another group and okay. this was happening so i was i was sort of being attacked on all sides okay and this is something that i i'm probably not privy to because i was only on that one group and this administrator uh, on this site it was actually on this site it was his site it says i i know mood movies do relate to laser but a quick glance shows some vh tapes and uh, vhs tapes and a lot of movies not sure this really belongs on a page that celebrates the collecting of laser Trying this lock to, to lock this down a bit and keep this page on topic. I've not reviewed the whole hour, of course, mm-hmm. but our laser just even referenced at any point. And I, I said, at, because we do talk about it quite a bit at the end of this episode, I said there's an enormous discussion of laser discs toward the end. You might want to reserve judgment until you've watched the entire program. And he gets, he's suddenly getting snooty. I did not judge. I asked, as I am not interested in devoting an hour of my time to get an answer to a simple question. You gave me an answer that'll do. Well, it's more on topic than put the word dick in your favorite horror movie title, which I know is a post on on, on his site. So, you know, which is uh, basically, you know, yeah, I'm getting snotty. And I have every right to at this point. This administrator admits to not watching any of the shows either, making some kind of bizarre, arbitrary decision to remove shows because they're not on topic, which is amazing to me. Still amazes me. I, I've already heard, I guess, what your take on it was, but mm-hmm. we are talking about Laserdisc. We do, quite a bit. There, There's a lot that we talk about that leads into it, and then there's a lot about Laserdisc that leads into other discussions. Mm-hmm. It, we can't just sit there for 30 minutes and I say, Laserdisc, 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 and then David says, Laserdisc, Laserdisc, Laserdisc. Because that's just, that's silly. I don't have all the answers as far as, like, the Laserdisc groups dumping us and getting pissy about it. I think that they, they are basically shooting themselves in the foot because they're, they're missing out on some good stuff. Maybe they just want, maybe they just want pictures of super expensive equipment which they want laser disc porn they want laser disc porn they want they want to feel good about themselves hey i want to feel good about myself i like that (laughs) stuff i like that stuff a lot why why would you dump somebody who is obviously passionate about about their stuff and and like stand by it and and actually trying to do something because you know and yet you are gonna give are gonna take the time Probably sitting on his toilet because that's when I send my best stuff. Yes, that's he's, he's, gross. he's like so. It, well, <laughs> and so he, uh, you know, he, he goes to the trouble to type all of this out, this long ass thing, yeah. just because he wants to get rid of somebody, just because he wants to. He wants. Well, you, he wants to be right. He wants that's, to be right, and you want to yeah. be right. So it's basically King Kong versus Godzilla, and you know who wins? The audience. Yeah. You know? I guess God, uh, Godzilla should win. Well, actually. it depends. If you have the fire. Japanese version Godzilla movie, <laughs> Godzilla wins, and if you have the American version, uh, King Kong wins. At the end, I mentioned that a lot of work was put into these shows, and you would see it for yourself if you watch. Now let's break it down. 
This is how we do it. Mm-hmm. We agree on the topic, let's say MGMUA, which yeah. was particularly daunting. I do my research, David does his. I go through enormous collections of photographs and video pieces. A lot of this is archived. We record the show, and I edit down the audio to a manageable length, and I start piecing it together based on the audio, the music, the dialogue clips, the video clips, Mm -hmm. and I work quick, so it's about a week to two week process, but the quality is great. You come in, you're super organized, you you have an agenda, you've done the research. I I literally, maybe, maybe it's just because I have like Rain Man level of like knowledge of things. I just, I know the subject, I'll throw some ideas around in my head and then I'll just come in and I'll just, whatever you, when you throw it to me, I just kind of know. And I I know maybe it's, I sound research, but it's like, I just know this. It kind of goes back to when you, when you came up with the idea of the show, I'm like, this is something, this is something I know. So it's almost like I was born for this. I don't want to disparage certain groups, but the discussions, when you go on these sites, they're usually, you know, what's your favorite laser disc? (laughs) What's, what's your favorite color? Uh, Name three horror movies you can't live without. Hey, check out my brand new old stock unboxed Pioneer DVL 919, which is great. It's good to have. It's good to have discussion. Like, I wish I had gotten a DVL 919. It played Laserdiscs and DVDs. Yeah. Um, I I was producing audiovisual entertainment, but if I understood the administrators correctly, it wasn't completely about Laserdiscs, so it has to go. It's not on topic, and this isn't isolated to Laserdiscs groups. I'm catching this trend everywhere. When you start a group about a particular topic. The group is supposed to be about that topic. It's not supposed to be about you. I administrate two groups on Facebook, the Blissful group and the Frequent Wire group. But, and this is very important, I don't call myself an administrator. I don't have that stupid little badge with the star next to my name to alert people to my authority. There, there are two items I will absolutely not permit on my groups, spam and pornography. That's it. And incidentally, I was accused by somebody on the random Nutter site Uh, A site, incidentally, a very close friend of mine uh, up until recently was also administrating, an ex-girlfriend. I was accused of posting spam, which I didn't even know how to respond to. So I left that site in revulsion. I actually left it because some people were saying some pretty disgusting things about me. And I don't understand this attitude and I don't know where they come off. With other sites, I noticed this particular form of fascism. I'm I'm going to mention a Star Trek group that I'm presently a member of. The administrator doesn't want any talk of the J.J. Abrams movies or the new television show, Star Trek Discovery, which just came out. He goes a little further than that. If anybody starts talking about those topics, he will shut off commenting for those threads. Uh, The other day, he started a thread discussing some element or something pertaining. He started uh, pertaining to Discovery, but nobody shuts him down. Nobody has the authority to shut him down. It's only when he decides the conversation has gone too far, and then he'll shut it down. So it's really more an exercise of power among these administrators than an appropriate discussion. And they, they put forth the message that they are in power, they are, and they are very happy in a smug, self-satisfied way to be in power. My theory is that they are powerless individuals in their own lives, and this is their way of recovering reparations for those oversights. That's all I wanted to say. Radioactive man number two. Is that all you have to offer? <laughs> That's all I have. I was doing the comic book guy from uh, Simpsons. That's what I was doing. Yes, I, well, there is, okay, you know, now we have to put that picture up because that is the person that we're talking about here. Mm-hmm. Episode ever.